how shall I begin my story that has no beginning? In these arroyos, my great-grandfather raised cattle before the Anglos ever came. Our roots go deep in this place, deeper than the pines, deeper than the mine shafts. This is my village. When I was a child, it was called San Marcos. The Anglos changed the name to Zinc Town. Zinc Town, New Mexico, U.S.A. This is our home. The house is not ours. But the flowers, the flowers are ours. My name is Esperanza, Esperanza Quintero. I am a miner's wife. Eighteen years my husband has given to that mine, living half his life with dynamite and darkness. The land where the mine now stands that was owned by my husband's own grandfather. Now it belongs to the company. Who can say when it began, my story? I do not know. But this day I remember as the beginning of an end. It was my saint's day. I was 35 years old, a day of celebration. And I was seven months gone with my third child. And on that day, I remember I had a wish. A thought so sinful, a thought so evil, that I prayed to the Virgin to forgive me for it. I wished, I wished that my child would never be born. No, not into this world. Are you sick, Mama? No, Estelita. Are you sad? Are we going to church for your confession? Later, when I see my child. Fighting again, with those Anglo kids. Oh, they think they're tough. But you promised me you wouldn't. Papa says if an Anglo makes funny, it's to let him have it. Never mind what you, Papa. Hold still. Does it hurt? Nah. I'll come the cake. Never mind the cake. Go get your father when he comes off shift. Tell him to come straight home. You're all in one piece, so what's the beef? You know the beef. This new rule of yours that we work alone. We're taking it up with the super. Super's busy with your negotiating committee. So much the better. Now, wait a minute. Super's the one made the rule. He ain't gonna give you no help. He will if he wants us to go on blasting. Read your contract. <laughs> Get somebody to read it for you. It don't say nothing about no help. Listen, Mr. Barton, there's blood in that mine. The blood of my friends, all because they have to work alone. That's how he gets blotted over the rocks. When there's nobody have to check your field. And nobody to warn the other men to stay clear. Warning's a shit foreman's job. Foreman wants to get the ore out. Miner wants to get his brothers out in one piece. You work alone, savvy? You can't handle the job, I'll find someone who can. Who, a scab? An American. Is there going to be a strike? Ramon, I don't like to bother you, but the store leader said that uh, if we don't make another payment on the radio this month, they'll come and take it away. 
We are only one payment behind. I argued with her. It isn't right. It isn't right, she says. Was it right that we bought this? This instrument? But you had to have it, didn't you? It was so nice to listen to. I listened to it every night when you were out at the beer parlor. No money down. Easy term payment. I tell you something. This installment plan, it's a curse of the working man. Where are you going? Gotta talk to the brothers. This water's cold again. Oh, I'm sorry, the fire's gone out. Forget it. Forget it? I chop wood for the stove five times a day, every time I remember. I remember left across the cracks. The Anglo miners have hot water in pipes, in bathrooms, inside. Do you think I like living this way? What do you want of me? But if your union... If you're asking for better conditions, why can't you ask for decent plumbing too? We did. Got lost in the shuffle. What? We can't get everything at once. Right now we have more important demands. What's more important than sanitation? Safety of the men. That's more important. Five accidents this week. All because of speed up. You're a woman. You don't know what it's like up there. First, we gotta get equality on the job. Then we'll work on these other things. Give it to the men. I see. The men. Your strike may be for your demands. But what wives want, that comes later. Always later. Now, don't you start talking against the union again. What has it got me? Your union. Speranza? Have you forgotten what it was like before the union came? When Estella was a baby and we couldn't even afford a doctor when she was sick? It was for our families we met in graveyards to build that union. All right, have your strike. I'll have my baby. But no hospital will take me because I'll be a striker's wife. The store will cut off our credit and the kids will go hungry. We'll get behind on the payments again. And then they'll come and take away the radio. Is that all you care about? That radio? Can't you think of anything except yourself? If I think of myself, it's because you never think of me. Never, never. Stop it. The children are watching. Stop it. Uh. <laughs> 